first super senior, okay, graduated in uh, 1998, okay, and uh, finished my master there in 2000, okay. All right, um, so today I'm here, I'm going to uh, give you a bit more information about the uh, Inno in Malaysia, and then uh, uh, before that, then can you also help to uh, capture your attendance using the link here, uh, bit.ly uh, slash IMDC22. Okay, or you can use the uh, this uh, QR code here to uh, capture the uh, attendance. Okay, um, let me also put the link in the chat box so that you can get the link directly here. Okay, yeah, I put the link in the chat box as well. Okay, next uh, then I'm uh, going to show you a uh, video about the uh, Innovation Malaysia to give you a better idea what is this about. Um, please let me know if you can't hear the, uh, the, the sound from the video. So throughout this nationwide lockdown period, I had no access to my university's lab equipment to complete my project. However, this Keysight uh, portable oscilloscope assisted me in my project by accurately keeping track of data signals for me to visualize right in the comfort of my own home. It was a huge challenge for us to gain access to the suitable equipment for our project. Fortunately, Intel was generous in providing us with the D1 SOC board to test our image processing program so that the validity of hardware software partitioning could be verified. Innovate Malaysia provides me a platform to expose to more latest technology in this industry. And at the same time, I can discover what improvement is needed in my project to make it outstanding in the competition. They really give me real-time situation or real-life example or scenarios that might be related to my projects, which will enhance my understanding on how to tackle the problem that has been verified, which will meet the objective more precisely. From the training provided, our team was able to understand the fundamental drivers of the project. It enabled us to produce a master plan to kickstart the project. This includes determining the utilities and infrastructures to be considered during the project, how it fits into our strategic plan. The industrial provide training is very interesting and useful, especially for the Open Vino Toolkit's training and also the explanation about the user interface and the user experience, which can be designed into our software and also system implementation. Training sections provided it actually helps me a lot by enhancing my problem-solving skill, especially in brainstorming productive idea to solve a problem. And this actually helps me a lot when working with a group of intelligent people with different ideas. IMDC provides training on design thinking and effective methods on presentation, especially in elevator pitch, other than just technical training. So this helps greatly in find, helping me find the correct audience for the project and make an impact on the intended audience. 
industry mentoring helped me by giving constructive feedback toward my current solution. The mentoring session guided me to the right track on how to use the Azure services and how to read the data provided. From that, I have a better understanding on how to solve the problem. The mentor has provided many suggestions in our project, especially the marketing target, the material selection, and the prototype design. The industry mentors also help us to recognize that there were areas that we need to give more focus on, and the feedback from them was uh, very helpful and opened up several ideas uh, on ways to improve our prototype for them. Um, welcome back. So as you can see that uh, from this uh, video, okay, uh, to give you a better idea of what uh, innovation Malaysia is all about, and uh, you can hear a lot of this uh, interview from the past uh, participants, okay, where they actually gain a lot of uh, benefits for participating in the competition. Okay, so this is not just a competition, but it is actually um, a platform to actually skill uh, skill up yourself, okay, to prepare yourself for your future career. Right, so because uh, uh, the commission provide you a lot of uh, this uh, industry tool access and then training, mentoring, and so on. Right, so all this will actually help to prepare yourself for your uh, future career. And uh, today uh, we are so glad that we have uh, also industry representative from uh, Intel and also Keysight, uh, who will be actually sharing a bit more about the uh, competition track specific uh, to the tracks that are sponsored by Intel and uh, Keysight. Okay. So let me just uh, uh, do a bit of uh, um, introduction of what is uh, Innovate Malaysia, right? So uh, the competition is mainly targeting you all as a university uh, students, right? And um, you will get the access to the industry tools that are given by the uh, uh, participating companies like Intel and uh, Keysight, okay? And then also uh, you get uh, for, uh, this uh, chance to also uh, tackle certain uh, real world problems. They are offered by the participating company. Okay. And then once you are enrolled in the competition, then you will receive a lot of training and also mentoring by the industry experts. Okay. And all this will actually help you okay, to actually skill up um, yourself to prepare yourself to become a more all rounder talent and more ready when you are out from the university. Right. And believe you are all now in your final year, okay, and you are doing your final project. Right. So you can actually uh, use your final project to participate in this competition and it will actually help you a lot okay? yeah, with all the additional support given by the uh, industry. Right. And then, um, so you not only get the support from your university supervisor, but you get a lot more from the uh, industry. Okay. And uh, for those who are actually aspiring to actually further your studies, to, uh, to do your master or what, then you can still actually benefit a lot because uh, you can actually further develop your design solutions or you want to actually uh, make your project uh, to become part of your startup project. All right. So all this experience that you gain from the competition will help you. Okay. And uh, this is actually the largest uh, undergraduate uh, design competition in Malaysia and open to the bachelor, uh, bachelor degree students in E&E, &E, mechatronics, software engineering, computer science, IT, science and mathematics and other relevant fields, right? So it's open to uh, students studying in Malaysia and also students studying, uh, Malaysian students studying abroad. Okay, so for this year, uh, we have uh, these uh, six different competition tracks offered, right? So um, the top three here that you can see here is actually a bit more towards uh, E&E, &E. okay? We have the IC design, um, and it's obviously for those uh, projects that are doing uh, IC design, then you participate in this uh, IC design track, that the track it is from Intel. And then uh, we also have AIoT, FPG, and embedded system track, okay? That is also uh, mainly uh, sponsored by Intel, okay? Um, if your project related to the use of the um, 
this uh, IoT or FPGA box, okay, then you participate in this track, okay. And if your track, uh, if your design project is uh, more uh, on electronic design in general and uh, also related to test, then you can participate in the key side track, okay, where uh, key side will then be able to provide you the uh, the access to the measurement instruments like oscilloscope, function gen, uh, operator, and so on, okay. So this uh, top three is actually more for uh, EE, right? And then uh, if your project is more uh, towards software, right? So we also have these uh, tracks. The first one is on this uh, data analytics and AI applications, right? So if your project is uh, focusing on AI okay, or data analytics, then you can participate in this track, okay? And if your project is uh, related to some sort of smart applications, then you can participate in the DHL uh, uh, sponsored the uh, smart application track, right? So um, the smart application actually it can cover a uh, wide uh, different domains application, not necessarily uh, uh, specific to certain domain. It can be on logistics smart application. Uh, it can be on the uh, smart healthcare, smart city, uh, smart agriculture, and so on. So uh, as long as uh, you are actually turning some traditional application into a certain smart uh, application, yeah, then uh, this is the track, okay? And then if your project is actually handling on certain uh, large scale kind of the web applications, okay, uh, that is uh, traditionally more for those like, uh, for example, in, uh, applications used in uh, uh, banking, in the telco industry, okay, where you need to actually process a lot of the data or a lot of the transactions within a uh, 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 short period, right? And typically, you'll be using uh, this uh, Java as a language to actually uh, create the application, right? Then uh, this is a track, okay, based on the uh, uh, this application that is using or actually handling uh, this uh, big amount of data or transactions, okay? Yeah, so these are all the different tracks offered. And then uh, you want to know more detail, then you can actually visit the competition website and uh, you can find the tracks info, okay? And then uh, there are details there. Okay, and what are the benefits for you to participate, right? So mainly, um, apart from actually participating, then uh, you will also at the same time actually getting a micro degree, which is a micro credential certification on uh, this uh, industry design and recognized skills, respective to the track that you are participating in, right? So you actually receive a lot of training, okay? And also uh, some mentoring on the uh, various uh, areas. Okay, including the technical and also some uh, these are soft skills and design innovation uh, skills, right? Then uh, you also supply the state of the art industry technology platform, okay, and receive project mentorship from the industry experts, and you also gain the exposure to the real world problems. So you can actually uh, uh, at the end you equip yourself okay, with the industry recognized experiences and this is uh, actually very valuable for your future careers, right? And then uh, then you can also, uh, through this competition, you can uh, have the priority access to the high value jobs that are offered by the participating companies like uh, Intel and Keysight that uh, every year they are hiring many uh, fresh engineers. Okay, so you can treat this uh, in, uh, competition as a platform to challenge yourself, to prove yourself, and also to benchmark yourself, okay, against others, okay, not only within the university, but also uh, among the students throughout Malaysia, and also even uh, Malaysian students studying abroad, right, so that you can actually graduate with pride, okay. So, of course, then at the end, at the end also, you may actually stand the chance to win the attractive prizes, okay, but uh, after all, um, the more important thing is actually the learning okay, that you can actually get uh, by participating in the competition. Okay, <clears throat> so next I'm going to just uh, brief you about uh, the overall flow about the competition, right? So at the beginning then is uh, the competition enrollment where you uh, submit your registration together with your project proposal, right? Then your proposal will be screened by the industry, okay? So that uh, uh, if your project is actually aligned to the track, then you can qualify yourself to enter to the competition. Okay, so once you are enrolled, then uh, you will start to receive training using this uh, blended learning on the technology platform, the application domain knowledge, and also design innovation. Okay, 
And then somewhere around uh, midpoint, then we'll arrange this uh, midpoint clinic for you to actually meet up with the industry uh, mentors, okay? To actually check on your uh, project progress, and then you can get advices from the mentors on your project direction, whether you are on the right track, and then whether you actually uh, can meet your this uh, deadline to complete your project at the end of the competition. Okay, and then uh, after that is followed by the first round of the judging, the preliminary judging, uh, where you need to submit the uh, project paper and also the project presentation video. Okay, and uh, uh, for this, uh, the, the judges will actually evaluate on your project and then we we'll arrange the uh, online Q&A sessions okay, to shortlist uh, five teams to enter as a finalist for each of the competition track. Okay, so the finalists then will enter to the grand finale event, okay, where it is an event for the competition finalists to showcase and also to present the project. And then uh, we will have this uh, prize giving ceremony. Okay, so the, uh, this slide shows you the exact uh, timeline. Okay, so the first timeline uh, is this uh, 15 November is the deadline for you to submit your project proposal. Okay, so you just uh, enter to the website, there's a form for you to actually fill up and submit your project proposal. Okay, and then uh, the solicitor entry will be announced by end of November. Okay, so once you are shortlisted, then uh, you can start to implement your project. Okay, and then um, you also start the uh, micro degree certification training. Okay, the MIPO training will be arranged in March. Okay, and then uh, your project paper submission will be by 23rd of May, and 30th May is your uh, project presentation video submission. Okay, and then we will arrange the uh, prelim judging uh, in June, okay, where you actually meet the judges. Uh, to actually uh, present or answer the questions by the judges. Okay, then uh, the uh, finalists will be announced by 4th of July, and then by 8th of August, uh, it will be the grand finale event. Okay, next then um, for the uh, competition prizes offered, right? So for each of the competition track, okay, there will be a total of the cash prize 10,000, okay, per track. Uh, awarded to the five finalists for each of the track okay and uh, some of the track will also offer some additional uh, item prizes to be given out okay by the uh, track uh, sponsors and the judges will be actually coming from the industry experts from the respective track okay and then there are also a number of these uh, special awards to be won okay we have the dreamcatcher best demo video award okay open to all the competition finalists um, the video will be actually posted on the Facebook and then as long as you get minimum, minimum 500 likes, then you can actually qualify yourself as the uh, candidate for the award. Okay, And then we have uh, a number of these uh, awards, special awards given by the professional bodies, okay, including IEEE Social Innovation Award, uh, IEM Best Build Award and IET Green Technology Award. Okay, So uh, these are the special categories where if your project is related to social innovation, then uh, you have candidate, uh, candidate for this award. And the best paper award is then uh, uh, based on your paper written. Okay. And then the green technology award is uh, for project related to green technology. Okay. And then uh, Inland Malaysia Excellence Award is the overall winner okay, of the competition. Okay. From among the champion of the individual technology, uh, individual competition tracks. Okay. So in uh, in the past actually uh, UTM student has been actually winning uh, this uh, excellence award for multiple times okay, in the past. Uh, for the innovation for information, this is the twelfth year that we are running the competition, right? Yeah. So uh, for you to understand more, then you can actually visit the website innovate.dreamcatcher.asia. Okay, for you to understand uh, more about the competition. Okay, so um, yeah, that's, that's um, my sharing for now. Okay, is um, you can just hold the questions uh, if you have any, you can ask later. And now um, uh, we'll pass to the speaker from the industry, uh, first from uh, Intel. Um, Sumin? Yes, I'm sharing now. Can you guys see it? 
Okay, I'm sharing. Okay, uh, the PowerPoint now. Can you guys see? It? Yes. All right. Okay. Good afternoon, uh, lecturers as well as students from UTM. My name is Suming. I'm the rep for Intel Track, and together with my fellow colleagues Danny, Mayway, and Sophie, we'll be sharing the details of Intel Tracks. So, without further ado, let me get started with uh, a video uh, introductions of Intel Malaysia. Let me know if you can hear the audio. Uh, we can hear the audio, but the graphic for, for the picture is not loading. Um, but I can see you, you can. I can. I cannot, but some some also cannot. So you guys can't see the sharing, as in the videos. I think some can, oh, some cannot. Cannot see. Cannot. It's fine. Then I will skip it because this is just an introduction to Intel Malaysia. I will go yeah. directly to the details of the tracks. No, I think I think it's like even cannot even the whole content is not appearing. Maybe you can restart the sharing. The whole content is not appearing. Okay, hang on. Yeah. Let me restart the sharing. All right. Okay. 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 Can you guys see it? Okay. Now we can see it. Let me try play again. Can see? Perfect. Okay, thanks guys. Hi, I'm Jerry. I'm a software engineer from Intel Malaysia. We have wonderful employees coming from various backgrounds here, which allows me to learn many skills from them. Through collaboration and mentorship programs, this allows me to structure my career path well. We usually challenge each other's ideas to make things work in a respectful manner. We even talk about our career growth and constantly propose ideas on technical issues, even during our favorite mama session. and I'm a pre-silicon validation engineer. It's interesting how the diverse workforce here indirectly broadens our mind and perspective even for the smallest things. We get to exchange interesting stories with each other and it's amazing to see how everyone sees things from different point of views. These differences blossom into the form of creativity. One culture that Intel has cultivated would be its inclusiveness. My opinions and suggestions are valued and very much taken into consideration and that has made me comfortable working at Intel. Hi, I'm Shaimi Amira. I work as an embedded software engineer at Intel Malaysia. Working on a global team has its rewards and challenges. It has definitely added more value to my work experience in collaborating across multiple time zones and also cultural and linguistic exposures. It's all about global teamwork. I'm Noor Ain. I am a free silicon validation engineer at Intel Malaysia. Intel is a great place to work as it has a wonderful lineup of expertise in this industry. You will always be excited to work with the best colleagues with great experience. Intel actively promotes work-life balance programs 
One of my favorite programs is Intel Involved. It consists of various volunteering activities where we can contribute back to the community. Alright, so that is a short clip of Intel Malaysia. So Intel Malaysia, we strive to uh, cultivate a safe and respectful work workplace and Intel Malaysia has the most diverse campus worldwide uh, with many employees coming from different cultural and ethnic background. So we have uh, both the uh, Penang as well as the Kulim campuses and we have more than 12,000 engineers, uh, sorry, 12,000 employees uh, among them, we have more than 6,000 engineers and 46 principal engineers uh, with about 200 GISH international workers and 40% of our workforce uh, is women uh, with, uh, and also more than 50% of the employee are Gen Y or millennial, which is aged between 24 and 37 years old. Okay, uh, in Intel, these are the culture that we embrace, you know, inclusions, uh, Customer obsess, one intel, truth and transparency, quality as well as fearless. Okay, the quality of undergraduate that the industry is looking for are mainly falls into three main categories: knowledge, uh, skills, attitude. So you have to add, uh, explorative, creative thinking, vocal confidence, good interpersonal and communication skill, as well as analytical and problem solving skill are those quality that we are looking for for the graduates. Uh, a bit of a history of Intel. Intel started in the 1970 uh, with the manufacturing plants uh, where we have evolved over the year. And in 1990s, uh, Intel started the first design center in Malaysia. And so far, it has been evolved with you know, more than 5,000 employees in the 2000, year 2000. And in 2016, we acquired Altera, the FPGA company, uh, to in to basically you know, in, expand the portfolio into FPGA technical competency as well. And in 2020, Intel have further you know, increased, uh, increased the uh, investment to about 10 billion uh, ringgit Malaysia uh, with the effort expansions of the manufacturing as well as the design center. So uh, Intel uh, have evolved mainly from manufacturing of like, you know, uh, a wire bonding to highly complex packaging and in terms of design we are also starting from microcontroller even to uh, the latest broad range of product as you can see here we have chipset client and server atom soc iot fpga in various uh, technical competency areas such as embedded design cpu server and such as well as you know like i mentioned you know fpga capability Okay, so over the year, Intel have made a lot of impact in terms of socials and environment. As you can see from here, those highlighted by green are basically award. Intel has been awarded by the best employer and you can see it has sustained performance over, over the years. Okay, now uh, let's go into the details of the Innovate Malaysia Design Competition in short IMDC. So the objective for IMDC as uh, Kaho mentioned is basically so to promote innovative culture in engineering design work so that the students can tackle real world problems with practical engineering solutions and gain industrial recognized experiences. And this competition is targeted to all third year as well as a final year degree uh, graduate uh, in uh, engineering, computer science, IT science or mathematics students. So this is what you will get. Uh, I will not repeat, I think uh, in a nutshell, uh, this more of this, this has been covered by Kaho. In a nutshell, you know, not only that you gain, you know, a skill, you get mentoring and training from the industry experts, and most importantly, you also stand a chance to win multiple prizes. Uh, where you know, in Intel Track, this is what we have given away last year for the grand finale. So we have the top three uh, grand finale prizes. 
So this is just an example, uh, the price given last year, but this year we may have changed the price, but the money, uh, I think the price worth will be about the same. So for each participating team, each member will get, you know, one unit of this. Like for instance, last year we gave mini PC away. So each member will get, you know, 3000 worth for mini PC and such. So we have, these are all the uh, prizes that we have given away last year. So it, it is a very attractive prizes. So now uh, I'm going to uh, pass over to my fellow colleagues to go into the details of each of the track that Intel offer. Like Kaho mentioned just now, we have the FPGA Embedded Software AIoT, and we also have the IC Design track. So I'm going to pass it over to Mayway to get started with Intel FPGA tracks. Okay. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Mayway. So I will share with you the Intel track, uh, FPGA track. So first, we will focus in, in the hardware description language. So it's a very lot of the VHDL code. Then we will help you to explore more about the Twitter software and the HPS NEOS2 soft processor. So if the if your project is related about the consumers, industrial, medicals, automotive, or any of the applications that will be suitable for the FPGA track. Yeah. So uh, I pass over to Sophie. Okay. Uh, thank you, Um For AIoT track, um, so as the name itself is called AI and IoT, um, you should comprehend between these two technology. Okay, so what, you expect, uh, what we expect to offer you is uh, first thing first is of Confino 2 kits, uh, which is one of the kits that are available uh, out there. Okay, the next thing um, you might explore on the programming side, which is on like Python or C++ programming. Um, and also you involved in some configurations and the AI applications. Um, and lastly, is not limited to object recognition, uh, any smart applications. Uh, next, pass to IC Design. Hi, um, for IC Design track, we are mainly focusing on the digital um, design, which can be um, comprises of uh, front end and back end silicon design flow. For instance, the front end mainly involves uh, on RTL coding and simulation, as well as you can also involve like uh, FPGA prototyping as well. Then for back end, will mainly involve the physical design portion, such as synthesis, place and route as well as, um, you name it, static timing analysis. Yeah, so um, let me give you um, more up um, information on the digital um, design track. So basically the uh, IC design track that we are focusing on is on the digital aspect of the design, where students are required to design a hardware and then implementing it with uh, industrial um, silicon design flow. So throughout this experience, then a student will get the opportunity to leverage the front end and back end flow environment with the exposure to industrial EDA tools, right? Um, such as Synopsys, and then as it's going to be readily available by the university too. So example of front end will involve very dot coding, as I mentioned, and then plus simulation to ensure that you know at least you have a good functionality of the design to start with before you pass it to the back end. So for the backend design, will mainly involve the physical aspect of the design, such as uh, DC, we call it uh, synthesis, auto, uh, auto place and route, and static timing, and maybe another one will be more on the power analysis. So the end goal of this IC design track is to for students to showcase their final design on how to enable a high quality end product based on the specs which the student has come up with in terms of uh, can be in power, area or performance. So on top of that, students are also required to prototype their silicon design, um, you know, with Intel FPGA, in this case will be the DE SOC, DE1 SOC. So um, next slide. So example of, these are the um, few examples of the topics that uh, we, um, that, uh, you know, that for the students to review through. So um, for instance, um, the most um, assorted um, um, topics that we, we have uh, of today is more, mainly more on AI, right? So you can think of maybe you can start off with some smart VLSI AI design system to detect, to do any detections of uh, illegal intruders or cars 
um, in, your, in your university campus without any valid pass. So there can be many more examples that are listed here. So feel free to take a look. Um, next slide. So what are the reasons um, in terms of um, joining this uh, the digital um, design track? So um, as you know, IC design is one of the most highly sorted skill set in industry. So therefore, hopefully that uh, this design, um, digital design will enable the students to get industrial exposure on all those standard cell design that are used in the VLSI design flow. And you, the student will also have an opportunity to have an hands-on experience on all the updated industrial EDA tools as adopted by many uh, leading industrial companies. So throughout that, um, you also get to enhance your industrial knowledge with the digital, the most advanced digital design flow and technology from Intel. So on top of that, we also, the student will also get personal coaching provided by the technical body from uh, Intel. And last but not least, this digital design track is also part of the Mohi Elite Intern uh, Internship Syllabus. So therefore, all the Mohi Interns, Elite Interns are recommended to apply this team as well. I encourage to apply this. Okay, uh, so I will talk about for the Intel FPGA track. So for this track, you will mainly target to use the D1 SOC board. So this is a Cyclone 5 Altera board. Uh, for this board, uh, this will be a industry leading programmable logic for the ultimate design flexibility. And this board has a high speed DDR memory video and audio capabilities and some of the features that you can refer to our uh, IMDC web page for, for the more information of a D1 SOC board. So for this board also is supported in the Microsoft Windows SP or the later versions. Then we have a second option for the board if you are not using, if you are not uh, prefer to use the one SOC board, you have a second option that is you can use this DE10 Nano SOC board. So this is almost similar as a DE1 SOC. Just the difference is uh, DE10 Nano board is applicable for the two GPIO expansions header and uh, Arduino header uh, and also with the HDMI port, which is applicable in this DE10 Nano board. So uh, I will walk through for you the focus and advantage for the FPGA track workshop. So for our mainly focus will be the Intel Quarter software, as I mentioned just now. So we will help you to explore more of the two features in the quarters. Second, we will help you to learn deeply in the RTL code. So this is a very log and the VH, uh, or the VHDL. Then we will help you to learn about the hardware simulations and debugging in the D1 SOC or D10 Nano board. So, which is help you to get yourself prepared to be our future FPGA engineer. Then, last but not least, we will help you to learn about the HPS or the NEOS 2 software processor. Yeah, so from this workshop, what we will get the benefits from us, uh, as I mentioned that we will help you to prepare yourself as a future engineer. So if you are epic, if you are interested to join our Intel PSG, so feel free, you can, uh, you will be get the chance to join our Intel PSG uh, for the job. Then uh, second one, Intel will get a fund for you or the government grant. So to sell your final year project as a commercial product. So uh, you can see the bottom picture there. So it's your, it's your uh, senior, they are from UTM. So it's a Intel FPGA track champion in 2019. Yeah, so they are invited to join our Intel PSG P9 Technovic CG demo session. So they will get a chance to uh, present their project to us. Yeah, so yeah, that is a Intel FPGA track. So pass over to Sophie. Okay. Um, so now it's on the uh, AIoT track, which is the OpenVINO toolkit. So as I mentioned, OpenVINO uh, just now is stand for open source, visual inference and network optimization. Okay. 
So uh, it's, a, it's a toolkit uh, where it helps you to do a quick development on AI applications, okay? So it comes with most of the API uh, for quick and easy implementations uh, on AI at the ACE side, okay? Um, so where it, where it, it more focus on the inferencing engine as, as the name is, okay? And uh, it's, it's on visual side, okay? Uh, where you no need to do some data trainings, everything, you're just more focusing on inference side. Uh, it supports all kinds of input visions, um, such as audios, uh, visuals, data analysis. Okay, uh, next slide. Okay, so uh, we're talking about what we know as a lot of applications that can be done. Uh, okay, so you can see the pictures here, right? So uh, one of those is uh, on agriculture, agriculture side. Okay, so that is a um, project being developed on, on deciding the harvest time. Okay, based on the visual inferencing, okay, and they also some city project can be done uh, on observing, example, in, in the lower picture, right, uh, traffic uh, situations. Uh, this is where you can use the open window to, to, to help on your project. Okay, next. Okay, uh, for this IoT tracks, uh, the prerequisites is very simple. Uh, uh, first, uh, it needs to be run on Intel based platform. Okay, because this uh, Overbino itself is limited to Intel based platform. Okay, um, then you need to have some basic uh, programming, which is either C, C++, or Python. Okay, and you need some um, uh, applications uh, that require computation and machine learning. Okay, uh, only three applications. Okay, uh, and for this track, we provide a workshop. Uh, it's going to be a two day workshop. Where we're going to introduce you to the open windows, uh, and then some hands on programming, okay, and with some samples so that you can uh, take a look and try to explain yourself on open window for you before you can uh, apply it to your project, okay. Uh, so, in this uh, workshop, um, where you require to install your open window, and we will focus on the C and the Python programming, uh, you must attend this workshop. Uh, at least for you to understand, okay. Um, we, we don't want the cases back in previous this year that um, that is a cases that students not really understand because they don't attend workshop. Okay, if you are subscribed for this AIOT track, please do attend the workshop. Okay, so that's from my side. All right, I think that's all from uh, Intel uh, about the three tracks that we offer. Uh, back to you, Kaho. Okay, uh, thank you, Sumin and the team. Then uh, next up, we have a representative from Keysight. Julia, over to you. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me well? Yes. Yep. Um, let me figure out how to share my screen. Haven't been using WebEx for some time. Let me share the sound. Okay, I think I've got it. All right, can you see my screen all right? Yes. I should minimize this. Oops. Okay. Hold on. Huh? All right, so my name is Julia. I'm working for Keysight and I'm the um, Education Program Development Manager. I have been with Innovates Malaysia Keysight Committee for the past two years. This is my third year. Okay. So a little bit about myself, I am from UTM, but that's very long time ago. So you can see I'm from chemical engineering um, faculty. I stand in Penang right now, that's where Kisai is, and I grew up in Seremban. I have three girls, and if you see here, I actually brought my kids to visit UTM a couple of years ago. Um, I like hiking, traveling, and dancing. Um, this is where I dance for, oh, can you guys see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so BTS. this is where, yeah, last year I actually danced BTS song for two years ago, or last year maybe, all right, for our five years service anniversary. And for professional wise, I'm a product marketing engineer, three years already. And before that, I was still in Keysight as a quality engineering lead. I was in Intel for two years, so you can roughly guess my age, okay. I have an MBA from UK. And I, as I told you, I have a chemical engineering degree at UTM. 
I speak in multiple secondary school programs and university programs because I have passion in that. All right. And I like mentoring people. So part of the reason I joined Innovate Malaysia, I can also mentor people in terms of soft skill in marketing and also in their business mindset. While my colleague focus on the technical portion of it. All right. That's a little bit about me. Now I'm going to tell you more about Keysight. Okay, some of you might not know what is Keysight because you don't see it like Intel it's at your laptop, the brand. But Keysight actually have a long history. It started from HP. Okay, so HP is not only about printer, all right? HP is about test instrument also. I believe you are from um, FKE, um, electrics, electronics. So you may have like um, digital multimeter, oscilloscopes and so on in your lab. So that's what Keysight builds. We have a history from HP and then later on became Agilent and Agilent decided to focus on life science. So the electronics was spin off and in 2014, we call ourselves Keysight. Uh, why Keysight? So we are the unlocking, the key, uh, unlocking measurement inside. So that's Keysight, all right? I'm going to show you a video about Keysight Penang and I... I hope maybe you can, in the chat you can let me know if it's, the sound works well for you. Eh? Okay. This is Kisak Pin. It has the high performance of that attracts me. Whatever I do, I know I'm making an impact to the next technology breakthrough. Helping scientists, researchers, and engineers in the industry. Keysight is transforming today's measurement experience through innovation. This means continuously challenging ourselves to look at new ways to deliver better, faster, and more value-added solutions. It is a dynamic environment. And even after 10 years, I'm still very excited to step through these doors each day. As a global company, Keysight gives me the opportunity to work with the best talents across the world. I have access to technology insights and expertise that strengthen my capabilities to deliver a winning performance. As a fresh graduate, I get to apply my knowledge to learn different skills and being effective at Keysight. I feel great because we move together as one team, we share one vision and we deliver winning solutions for our customers as one Keysight. At Keysight, everyone has a chance to keep improving themselves through internal trainings and job rotation. To me, it's not just about working here, but I'm developing a career here at Keysight. As a working mother, I'm always trying to balance my work and my family. At Keysight, I'm able to achieve this with ease of mind, such as flexible work arrangements, facilities that cater to the needs of new mothers, and an on-site parent support group. This enables me to deliver my work commitments and enjoy quality time with my family. At Keysight, we have a conducive working environment and comprehensive facilities. With that, I can focus all my energies on delivering the next technological breakthrough for our customers. I have gained so much since joining Keysight and the best part is I get to share this amazing experience through many Keysight citizenship programs. From inspiring students to pursue science and engineering education, raising awareness on environmental conservation or even helping the less fortunate. I am making a difference in their lives. I am Katrina. I am delivering values at Keysight Technologies. I'm Renu and I'm driving innovation at Keysight Technologies. I'm Jerry. I'm shaping the future at Keysight Technologies. I'm Afid. I'm making a difference at Keysight Technologies. And so can you. All right. That's a little about Keysight Malaysia and how about Keysight Global. 
um, we don't only support the electronics um, industry. We support many different industries, for example, your 5G, 6G, IoT, aerospace defense. Okay, uh, famous companies that you hear over the news, we make um, equipments, test measurement applications and um, accessories to enable missiles to fly up correctly. And also in automotive, we also support the testing of EV or we call it the electric vehicles. Um, um, companies that I cannot name, but yes, they are famous companies. All right. And we are a market leader with 80 plus years of experience. So with Keysight, we have patents, we are 4.2 billion company, and we are being used by the 29 out of the top, top 30 technology companies. Okay, something closer to you and your lecturer. Um, I told you earlier that I'm the education program manager. So we have this um, special, special group to cater for education people like you guys. What's in it? All right, so um, we have products to support the education customers like you. For example, we make um, the digital multimeter, wave generator, scope and power supply. We make that. Our Pathwave platform is some software, um, it's a broad software platform. We create um, lab management tools and also EDA tools. So for example, we have ADS, System View and Genesis. Um, those are also under the Pathwave umbrella. So we have hardware, we have software, and also we provide services, for example, calibration, trainings, um, and so on. Okay, so um, I, I told you I've been Keysight for a long time and why I love it is because of the DNA. Um, the company culture actually sustains you long term, not only pay, not only benefits. So um, dating from long time ago, our founder Bill and Dave, um, they actually prioritize synergy. So it keeps going until today. And we are committed to work as a team to help the customers grow further in classroom, in your lab, and also in your career. How we do that? Okay, so we hire, um, we hire good people like you. So um, you may not be necessarily very technical, but if we see you have strength in certain areas, there is a right fit for you in Keysight. Um, we provide training, whether it's through IMDC, whether it's through internship or graduate training program. We mentor and we also provide instruments and software. We also find research projects. Uh, we work with your uh, um, industry advisors to do that. All right. And there are internship opportunities. Some of you maybe have joined the career fair last week, which I was also involved. And we also sponsor student clubs globally. Okay. And our main aim is to actually create industry ready engineers. Okay. Not engineers who came out. You baca buku, you study, but you don't know how to work, all right? You want to make people who are industry ready. Once you join the company, you can work and no problem with that. Okay, I won't go through this. All right, we actually have something called the industry ready certification program. Um, whether you excel in the, in the area of RF microwave or IoT design, um, you can go to keysight.com for more information and the education um, portion. This is a award-winning program. So it recognizes students who excel in RF microwave or IoT. And as you can see, we have global universities, but we have three Malaysian universities who have joined on board and I have qualified a few of them. So find out more lecturers also. And I have mentioned to you why I stay so long. So finding your career path in Keysight, uh, you cannot go wrong, okay? Um, you can access to global experts, a very unique com company culture, minimal politics and very united, um, pay and benefits industry level, and good work-life balance. I have three kids um, and I still work as an engineer very well. And we also have a wide range of training and development programs. Okay, um, this is on campus hiring and intern hiring. Uh, we do that actively in Kisak Penang. And also we have multiple awards from diversity, from uh, best employee choice to um, university choice award, we have won that. And here are some testimonials from people across the globe, all very happy. 
All right, so our presence is actually global, 150 locations across the globe. And we have R&D center, we have production. So no matter what interest you have, there is a best fit for you. And this is closer here, Keysight Technologies Malaysia. So maybe some of you are from Penang, you may know this place. But if not, when you drive along the Penang Bridge as you exit, you will see a very big building over here. And in this building itself, we have production, we have supply chain, we have R&D, we have business marketing. So that's where I sit. We also have customer service and support. All right. And in Penang itself, we have 4,500 employees. Okay, a little bit towards IMDC 2022. This is my committee, so I'm over here. All right, I'm, I'm going to mentor you and also review your papers alongside with my team. And this is for 2021, which we just ended. Uh, we mentored a few teams and the five selected ones, some of the testimonials you have seen earlier. And this is the grand finale where our company VP and GM She's a lady, all right. She also graced the event. So we offer technical mentorship and also um, how you're going to market your product, how you're going to speak um, in public is a very well-rounded mentorship. Okay, so a um, little bit of advertisement here. Start your IMDC journey with Keysight Track. So we have many areas. In the past, we have students doing um, automotive and energy, how to, um, how to have a self-driving car, autonomous vehicle, how to save energy with solutions. Um, we also had urban farming, um, IoT solutions. Why we can handle so many different application areas is because everything you do, you need to test. Okay, so these are just a few of key side instruments that you can use to test your um, hardware, your creation, and I'm sure you'll be guided by your lecturers to think of a project that well suited this. So um, check out more on IMDC website. There are many rich content over there and also reach out to my team or Kaho if you need more information. All right, so I think that's all from me, Kaho, back to you. Thank you, Julia. Okay, um, now that I uh, open for any uh, questions, okay, you may uh, just uh, unmute yourself to ask or you can also type in the chat. Okay, we are here to answer your questions. Yeah, for um, the uh, Indonesia, if you join, you can actually join as uh, an individual or you can form a team of up to three members. Hi, Mr. Kango. Maybe yes. I just want to describe the situation of the students. Some of them are still back in their home country. Yes. So, is it possible for some of the students, let's say in the group, some of one or two members are not in Malaysia? And then yes. they. Yeah, um, because uh, since last year, we know everyone are uh, yeah, in the lockdown, right? So, uh, until now, so uh, because uh, uh, most of the students are still not back to the campus, right? So, um, the student can still actually. Uh, do the project uh, at their own hometown, right? So uh, for hardware part, then uh, yeah, as long as uh, one of the member can have the access um, uh, to the hardware, yeah, and then maybe uh, it team up with other members uh, who actually more focus on the software, they can still actually form as a team, right? To actually uh, do the project and then eventually then they can actually just uh, put together uh, with the one who, who actually uh, hold the hardware, okay, so it's still possible. Right, thank uh, you. Okay, um, to answer the question um, from uh, Isaac, okay, is hardware compulsory for IMDC, um, depending on which track that you are joining, right? So uh, as uh, in the briefing just now, there are uh, three tracks that are more uh, focused on the electronic, okay, 
uh, especially from the Intel and the key side one, then uh, yeah, that uh, will involve hardware. Okay. And then if your project is on software, then you can actually participate in the software tracks like uh, data analytics and AI, and then uh, smart applications or this, uh, uh, this uh, large-scale web application. So question, uh, do, uh, do Keysight company offer track program for PLC and Scala system in automation? Uh, maybe uh, Julia can help to answer. Lana, so the question is on what system, Kaho? Um, yeah, I think the student asked uh, in private. Okay, so I just repost oh, Okay, SCADA, SCADA system in automation and PLC. Um, this is new, but I think we can discuss on this. Um, so far, no projects on this yet. Yeah, so for uh, mainly for his side, um, the, this uh, instrument supported would be based on the uh, typical measuring instruments like oscilloscope, function gen, uh, multimeter, power supply. Yep. The QR code, I mean, for the attendance, right? The, uh, are you referring to the student QR code, the TM Smart? Mr. Uh, okay, I, I share that later after this question and answer. Lah, I will share and then let the uh, Webex turn on for a few minutes. So let, if there are any other question from a student, uh, is there any for, for this uh, competition? So basically student will uh, register and then is there any, supposed to be evaluation, right? Yes. Or, uh, and and is there any limit number of student uh, that will be accepted? Like for example, uh, if the entries are all good, uh, are you going to narrow down the number of group or, or, or student that will be um, enrolled? No, um, it's uh, mainly based on the individual projects. Uh. As long as uh, the project uh, is actually aligned to the track, yeah, then it will be accepted. Right, right. Yeah. Um... Okay, and then uh, there's just a message from uh, Intel okay, that uh, for those who are actually taking part in the Intel MOHE Elite Internship Program, okay, so because uh, you, uh, it is actually part of your syllabus to actually uh, join the competition as a requirement. Okay, so then uh, for those who are involved in this uh, Intel Elite uh, Internship Program, yeah, then uh, yeah, so-called co compulsory to join the competition because uh, it is part of the uh, requirement of the program. Okay, if if anyone want to speak up, okay, that's also you can do it. Okay, uh, there's a question uh, from Lin Junjie. Okay, uh, I don't know is there any specific school supervisor will be assigned? Um, so it's uh, based on, if let's say you are participating uh, using your final project, then uh, yeah, it's uh, any, any supervisor will do, okay? So as long as uh, you find your project uh, can fit into one of the competition track, yeah, then you can participate. Yes, I yes, can, con sir. can confirm that. So we, we encourage students to join or participate in this competition so that you can, okay, have a support in, in terms of the, you know, as the presenter have explained, not only on the hardware, they also have their experts. So the expert can guide you all the way until the, completion of your final year project. Okay. Uh, maybe. Okay. Perhaps there is no question, but I think, I think I will drop your contact details. Okay. Because after this, I will uh, compile the recording session and then we'll share again to this uh, email list of our student. 
So uh, uh, one of the representative of from from our uh, speakers today can can drop your your uh, contacts like like email or, or and then and then I can share it with all the student. Okay. Uh, and also, I would like to say thank you to, to everyone who participated uh, and then give the uh, splendid, okay, splendid uh, sharing. So uh, this is very uh, eye-opening, especially for students who are, you know, going to work after their completion of uh, of their uh, after their graduate. So we did, again, I will I will say. I would like to say thank you to everyone who have participated. Okay, and uh, okay, uh, and then uh, is there any closing remark from our uh, from our representative speakers? Okay, um, thank you very much for your time spent uh, for this uh, evening, and I uh, hope you all will uh, take part in the competition. All right. Yeah. yeah if, so, any, uh, if any questions, you can actually email to us uh, using the uh, general email in a way at dreamcatcher.asia. Or you can also, if you have any question, you can also ask through the Facebook Messenger as the link that I've uh, given. <coughs> you can also just find from the website. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, the website, there's a link. Right. Thank you again for our, from our invited speakers. So now, uh, uh, so officially we have closed the session. I only at, uh, uh, let this WebEx session on to give the opportunity for the student to re uh, sign the attendance. So thank you again. Uh, maybe see you when I see you. Lah, if it be, maybe we can meet again during the competition if permissible. Lah. Thank you very much, everyone. All right. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Amri. All right. Bye. Bye.